In this episode of my coding series about e-commerce website tools and its utilities, I'm going to introduce React Table. It's a package to build and design powerful data grid experience while retaining 100% control on markup and styles. We are going to fetch sample products from a fake API and render them as a data grid with sorting and grouping capabilities. Let's start. To get the source code of this lesson, visit this link and from code button, you can download this code in your computer. Also to view the demo of this app, check this link and here you can try and play with this data grid. What we're gonna learn is using React table in action fetching backend API, and also working with sorting data and grouping data using React table. Let's go for it. Open VS Code. From terminal, we are going to create React application. Go to your favorite folder. I'm gonna go to desktop folder and run npx create-react-app. Enter the name of app, whatever you like. I'm going to enter React Table App and press Enter. Wait a while to install all packages. After creating React App, CD React Table App, and then enter code, put a space and dot to open this project in a new instance of VS Code. Click on Trust. This time we have our application folder in the left column. The next step is going to be installing React table from terminal menu, new terminal, npm install React table. Also, we need Axios, put on a space and enter Axios too, and press enter. After installing these two packages, it's time to go to the app.js and here get rid of all content and create a div set the class name to table container open index.css and at the very end enter this class for table container we are going to make this div center aligned vertically and horizontally save this and inside the app.js we're gonna use this conditional rendering if i'm loading data show loading products otherwise render product table we need to create this component later it accepts columns and products as a props and inside that we are going to use render react table package save it get rid of logo here and also app.js here First of all, we need to define products state. Define it using a state hook, import user state by pressing control space and select user state. It's gonna import it like this. And the next state is loading. By default is true because we're gonna show loading box at the very beginning of rendering components. The next step is gonna be defining use effect. We are going to send an AJAX request. That's why we need to define use effect and use empty array as a dependency array. So it's gonna run only one time after rendering this component. Inside that, define fetch products function. Here is the code of fetch products. It's an async function. We set loading to true and inside try catch, we send an AJAX request to this API. I just created six products in this API as a JSON and you can use it in your code too. For Axios, press control space and press enter to import Axios from Axios. Fill products with the data from backend API and if there is an error, set products to empty and console log the error. Let's import use effect. Select this one to import it from React and we need to call fetch product right after defining this function inside use effect. Save it. And it's time to define columns right before the return function. Define columns using use memo. 
The first parameter is an arrow function that returns an empty array and second parameter is empty array. This one is dependency list and this one is the value that we return. Let's import use memo and inside this array we are going to define columns for the table. The first column is category. So it's an object has header and accessor. The header is category and it's going to be shown UI and the accessor is the name of field in the JSON that we are going to show in this column. Do the same for ID and name like this. And then for price, we need to define aggregate. For price, we set header to price, accessor to price, and aggregate is average. So we use the average here in the aggregated function, and that's the text that is going to be shown in the price column when we group data. For content stock, we're going to use sum as an aggregate. So it's going to show sum of products in each category. The next one is brand. And the next one is rating. For rating, I'm using average too. And the last column is description. So here I just define the columns for the table. The next step is going to be defining product table. So here inside src, right click new file and set file name to product table.js. Type RFC and press tab to create React functional component. This component accept columns and data as a property. So define it. And then here it's time to use use table hook right after this function define use table and import use table from react table. The first parameter for use table is an object that contains columns and data from props. Other parameters is the features of this table. So we're going to enable grouping data imported by control space, enable sorting data and enable expanding data in the rows. Also, we need to get following objects and functions from use table to render table in the UI. In the return part, the first thing that I'm going to return is the table itself. Get rid of div and render table itself. For the table, we need to deconstruct table properties here for the table and then define t head. Save it to format your code. And inside T head, it's time to define header groups. It's coming from here. So render it like this. Header groups is an array. So we need to map it to header group. And inside that, we need to define table row. Here is the table row and set header groups properties for the table row here. Inside table row, define header groups that headers that map function to render all columns inside the header of this table. So what I'm going to do inside each column is to use table header tag like this table header, put all attributes for table header from this function. And inside table header, we need to check column dot group by. Let's close it here and save it. Inside table header, render this conditional rendering. If column dot can group by and the ID is category, then show plus icon if item is grouped. Otherwise, show minus icon. Otherwise, render null for other columns. The next step is going to be rendering the column name right here using column dot render header. And the last one is an span to render sort direction. If it's sorted, show the direction, otherwise show nothing. That's it about the header. Let's go for the body part. Right after the T head, render T body. And inside that, we need to render rows. It's an array, so we use map function like this and inside the map function call prepare 
row. After that, it's time to return table rows. Inside the return, define table row, and inside each row, we need to render row.cells like this. For each cell, define table data like this. And inside that, we need to have a check for table is grouped. So the code is going to be like this. If the cell is grouped, show it as a grouped. Otherwise, if it's aggregated, show the aggregated value. If it's repeated data, show place order. Otherwise, show the real value. Save it to format your code and then go to app.js and import product table. It's going to be imported from product table in the same folder. Save it and open terminal npm start. After starting the project, it's going to open a new window. And for line 32, don't forget to use return here and put td next to it like this and save it and go to index.css and for table set border collapse to collapse and for table t head and td set padding to one and set border one pixel solid black after this go to product table and for the span in line 16 for grouping columns set this attribute dot 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 column dot get group by toggle props and save it let's check the result here we have category and other fields click on minus uh-huh it just group data and as you see for pants we have three pants the average price is this the content stock for all pants is 32 and the rating is the average rating for all pants also, you have see the data for shirts. If I click on plus icon, it's going to expand the pants. And here I have all data in this category. If I click on plus in the category, it just show the raw data for me. Also, it's possible to sort data by all columns like this. That's it about this lesson. What we did is to render product list in a tabular way using React table and using a backend API. And the data source is backend API from this address. That's all about this video. See you on next videos.